Example 2 is the simplest possible digital audio recorder prototype. Example 2 is the simplest possible digital audio recorder prototype. Example 2 is the simplest possible digital audio recorder prototype. Previously I generated a simple tone. And then I read a raw audio file from an SD card. How does this work? It's very simple. But watch both. Now here's what happens. Check out these projects at DIY Life. Now I've added a simple amplifier and PC microphone to the prototype. The op amp converts the tiny microphone signal into something we can measure. The output of the amplifier connects to the digital audio recorder prototype. The MSP430 converts the voltage to a number, and then we can save the audio samples. Let's see it in action. In the first example, a tiny audio signal from the microphone is amplified by the op amp and measured by the MSP430's analog to digital converter. The sample is copied to the pulse width modulator and is turned into a voltage. From there it gets shaped by a low pass filter and the DC is blocked by a capacitor. The audio is output on powered PC speakers. As you can hear, everything I say is echoed through the speakers. The quality is not in the work, but it demonstrates the principle. Next, I'll upload another firmware. This time, audio is recorded to the SD card for a few seconds after power on. After that, the recording is played in a loop. Example 2 is the simplest possible digital audio recorder prototype. Example 2 is the simplest possible digital audio recorder prototype. Example 2 is the simplest possible digital audio recorder prototype. Next time, I'll introduce a digital audio experimenters board that combines all of these elements into a single device. How does this work? It's very simple. Now here's what happens.